now that there are so many courses that you can take, I'm, I know that you're overwhelmed because you're in a place now where you're trying to make the transition, where you're trying to learn this stuff, and there is an overabundance of information, how-tos. This is the right thing. This is the wrong thing. And you're not sure who's you because they want to sell you something versus who's selling because they're genuinely trying to help you. If you want to get into digital marketing and you keep hearing about this course careers thing, look, check it out. It's all over the place. There's one, two, three. I don't even know how many videos, but it is everywhere. But you're just not sure if it's right for you. I'm going to take some time and go through and give you my honest opinion of the course so you can determine whether or not you should take it or not. About a month ago, I got this comment from one of my subscribers. Thank you so much, Shannon, for taking the time to... Uh, drop the comment and ask me about reviewing course careers. Let me give you guys some background about who I am and then how this video happened, right? So my name is Ulrich Davis. I have 10 years of experience in marketing and about six in digital marketing. Uh, I started my career helping martial arts schools with good old fashioned signs. When I first got into marketing, I just wish there was somebody that could tell me what I should do, what I shouldn't do, what was worth the time, what wasn't worth the time. Uh, but that didn't exist at the time other than going to a, a general university. Uh, courses were starting to pop up online, but they, they weren't very prevalent. And so now that there are so many courses that you can take, I'm, I know that you're overwhelmed because you're in a place now where you're trying to make the transition or you're trying to learn this stuff. And there is an overabundance of information how to's this is the right thing this is the wrong thing and you're not sure who's you because they want to sell you something versus who's selling because they're genuinely trying to help you when i got this comment from shannon uh i was like yo uh i would love to do the review don't know if i want to spend a random you know 500 bucks to do a to do a youtube video but i was like let me take a look and see what that guy going on and uh week or two after that, I actually got an email from Course Careers asking me if I would do a video. And I was like, yo, I can't do a video or recommend your course until I take it. And so until you, unless you're able to give me access to the course, give me time to take the course as if I was new to the content, then I, I can't make that video. And so uh, the gentleman I was working with was like, hey, that shouldn't be a problem. Give me a day to approve it. And sure enough, he emailed me back. He's like, that's fine. And our conversation was, if I take the course and if I like it, then they would add me as an affiliate partner. And I'm telling you this because I want you to understand where I'm coming from when I'm reviewing this content. So so that's a, that's enough of that. Let's jump into Let's jump into the review of the content. Uh, when I, when I look at content or, uh, courses like course careers, I break them down into five sections. Uh, and I'm going to tell you right away, my, my assessment of course careers is about 8.2 to 8.4, uh, out of 10, right? So for me, anything that is above a 7.5 is passing and is recommendable, right? So that's how I decide. I have a point system. And if you want to dive into the categories and know what my point system is, just drop it in the comments. I'll share my spreadsheet with you. You can see how I evaluate any course that, that I'm working with. But to give you kind of a rundown of each category, uh, uh, course content, you get a maximum of three points. Uh, instructor expertise, you can get a maximum of three points. Teaching and style can get a maximum of two points. Support can get a maximum of one point. Price can get a maximum of one and a half points, totaling for 10 points. And I will put the total four course careers up on the screen so that you can see how they break down. Now, let's talk about the pros and the cons of course careers, uh, because I think that's why you're really here. Let's talk about the pros first. The course is well organized. This is probably, there were two things that happened in this course that I have I've not experienced in courses at this level, right? And I have to preface that because I've taken courses that have cost me uh, six, seven, eight, ten grand, right? So courses at this level, the structure, the way that 
that the instructor presented some of the content, I've not experienced that at the sub $1,000 level, okay? So the course content was well organized. This was the first course at this level that I saw them introduce theory uh, in a way that made sense on a practical level. So when they introduced marketing theory on not, not digital marketing, but marketing theory, it was done so in a way to help you as the learner figure out how to approach how to approach the strategy of marketing, which was fantastic. I'll share what the second thing was uh, later on, actually. Uh, the groups, in the groups, they were absolutely inviting. I said before, it was 8.2 to 8.4. That has more to do with the group that you get, right? Uh, so if you get a really engaging group, you're going to have a much richer experience than if you get a group that's just kind of meh, right? Uh, so if group, if group activity is huge for you, you would, and you end up taking course careers, you want to make sure you end up in a highly engaged group. If working with groups is not a big deal for you, then this isn't really going to make a ton of a difference for your experience in course careers. If you want to run through this stuff solo dolo, I highly recommend that you engage with the groups a bit because you never know how the networking with those people can end up being the reason why you get brought on to a digital marketing job in the future. Uh, the instructor, Rich, he he, do, he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. And so the only reason, if we go back to the chart, the only reason I gave him a 2.5 out of 3 and not a 3 was because the content delivery format didn't allow for, for you to really see much of the expansion of his knowledge. And so a 3 to me, these are... I, I, I put Ryan Levesque at a three and you know, the, the library, the, uh, the librarian that has never opened a marketing book at a zero, right? That, that's kind of the scale here when I'm thinking about these individuals. Okay. So a 2.5, you couldn't really see the expansiveness, but go check out his YouTube channel. I've tagged it below so you can see his content. He's got, he's got some good stuff out there. Let's talk about the cons, the downsides. There are portions of this course that I believe, in my opinion, were glazed over. Uh, and one in particular that really stands out to me is target customer. My opinion as a marketing professional is that target customer is the, is the keystone that makes the rest of it work. And so I, I, I wanted to see Course Career slow down a little bit on that section uh, and really stress the importance and talk about how you can go about creating uh, a target customer for uh, for a business, right? Um, now, I say that with some caveats because I've seen some some courses try to do it and they do it really poorly. And so I would rather you not do it than do it extremely poorly. And so there there's some, I'm hard to please. Let's, let's just say that I'm hard to please. The, the next thing was a PDF study guide. So I said there were two things that I've never really seen at courses at this level. Uh, the second was a visual study guide, a visual, it was a, it was a physical map of everything that you learned. I've not seen someone take the time to create something like that, uh, for, for things like this. I have seen it in like YouTube videos when people do a drawing maps. This one wasn't quite drawing, but it was still that visual aspect. Uh, and it was helpful for me as someone that is a little bit more visual than I am read, write, And so. I thought that was really cool, but because of different learning styles and because my group, there were folks asking for a study guide, uh, I thought that, that that was a potential miss for the course career. So let's talk a little bit about some basic questions. How much is it? Uh, well, it's $4.99. If you use the code in the, co in the uh, section below, in the caption below, you can get $50 off, right? So $4.50 for the, for the course careers, it can take. How long does it take? Uh, you, it could take you uh, up to three months, depending on how much time you put into it. I was able to complete it in about 10-ish days. Uh, I'm still waiting on my final assessment to, to have its official grading on it. So I'd say the, the fastest I would see somebody doing it, getting the grade and, and doing all the profile stuff is probably about 15, 15 days, right? So 15 days puts you in a position to start applying for a new, a new career, uh, I think is, is a pretty good deal. Uh, are you able to take the class while you're doing the paper plan? 
The answer is absolutely yes. If you need the payment plan, go ahead and select that option. It's $150, it's $150 four months, four months worth of payments or four payments of $150. So what that really means is if you can get it done in two weeks and start applying for jobs, you might actually have your new job before, before you actually have your second or third payment come out. So kind of think about that when you're deciding if you want to do this course or you want to do something else. Um, to, if I'm being frank with you, I don't really care if you take course careers or you do a different course. I will continue to evaluate courses and the ones that I like and think they're worth taking, I will have an affiliate link because look, y'all, these courses are expensive and all the help, I'll take all the help I can get. So if you sign up for course careers to that link, it helps me and it'll go right back into making videos for the channel. Some of the other courses that folks want me to take, uh, there was one that somebody threw at me that was a couple grand. So if I can get some of y'all to sign up, that, that will go a long way so I can do that other course and then give my honest feedback uh, based on my experience, not the experience of other people. So that's my assessment. I definitely would say if, who, who is this for? Who is course for is for? Let me, let me, let me finish that up. Uh, it's for someone that needs guidance about learning this digital marketing stuff, uh, wants to have a community as you're making this transition to be able to kind of lean on and ask questions to, uh, and, and wants to make a switch in, into a new career. If you're looking for something that's going to teach you how to do something for your business, I'm not sure this is for you. I'm not going to discourage you, but I, I'm not sure if this is the right first step for you. Uh, I think there are better solutions for that in particular and some that are slightly more cost effective. And so if you're just looking like, I just want to figure out how to do some specific thing marketing wise for my business, then th this, this may not be it. I thought I had another question that I needed to answer, but it looks like that'll do it. If you have questions about anything that I talked about in this video or other courses that you would like me to review, please drop them in the comments and I will do my best to get to them as soon as possible. Uh, if you're a small business owner, you're like, all right, well, you said this might not be the thing for me. Uh, drop your situation in the comments, what you're trying to learn, what you're trying to do. And I will do my best to give you an answer that will point you towards where you need to go so that you don't have to guess as much about what's the right move for you. Outside of that, stay on one of y'all. Oh, snap, before I forget, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Oh, I suck at that. Uh, I appreciate you and have a great week. <laughs>